Very Thank good. you, sir. Ed Begley Jr. is all about living green and cutting his carbon footprint. Does this change things at all? These emails. The star of Living with Ed joins me now. Ed Bagley, welcome to the show. Good to see you, sir. Stuart, thanks for having me on. You heard this. There seems to be some discussion amongst the climate community that uh, maybe the evidence isn't there. They're split. They're divided. Do you ever think that maybe you're wrong about global warming? I, I think the science is very clear in global warming. What these statements are, we'll go down the path and see what happens in peer-reviewed studies. Those are the key words here, Stuart, uh, peer-reviewed studies. If these scientists have done something wrong, it will be found out and their peers will determine it. I don't think uh, geologists should uh, write papers about being an actor or a newscaster, nor should... Uh, uh, I, don't get your information from me, folks, or any newscaster. Get it from people with PHEF, the name peer-reviewed studies are the keywords. And if it comes out in peer-reviewed studies that there are some... Uh, cooking the books, that will come out. Well, you know, Senator Inhofe has a list of 700 climate scientists who say this global warming, they've got problems with the whole theory of global warming. I put it to you. They're not, they're not the, 700 the, climate scientists. There's weathermen and other people in there. There are some climate scientists. The science is not review in. The, it is it's in. Not, no. Stuart, quit saying that. No, the debate it is, is so not in. over, sir. Peer-reviewed studies. Go to Science Magazine, folks, Nature Magazine. Go to somebody you trust. National Geographic. Don't get it from you or me. Don't get it from Rush Lundar, no, Glenn no, Beck. No. Scientists. People with PhD okay. All right. okay. weathermen, not right. weathermen, okay. listen science, to climate. Listen to this. I had a Princeton professor on my program. What's his, what, is he, what does he have his degree in? <laughs> Look, he's a physicist. Okay. A physicist? He's a Princeton professor. I want people who, who are PhDs says, in climate science. Who's questioned the, a climate the whole science scientist isn't going to tell you the difference between a quark and a boson. He's not going to tell you so that. So there's no, no question, question whatsoever. Absolutely. No question in your mind. You, always, you, can, be, you can be skeptical, right. it's, the debate is skeptical over. but not the denial. The you guys are over. The debate is over. On, on uh, global warming, the debate is very clear. It's out there in the scientific community. community. Read peer-reviewed studies. Peer-reviewed. That's all you need to do. Don't get it from now, you or me. You live the green life on a day-to-day -day yes. basis, individually and personally. Fine. I've got no problem with that. But why do you have to impose it on me? Impose? Wait a second. Why do you have to impose it here on me, Let Los me Angeles? explain Go what I'm talking about. If cap and trade goes through, I'm going to have to have a warning label on my house. There's going to be an edit. Ed, Stop ed, ed, the scare tactic, boy. There There's death be, panels. For there is an thing. energy audit going on my sit, house. Yes, sir. You should have is. an energy audit in your home to make oh, it more so efficient. Thanks, uh, thanks just, for admitting it. Okay. I just had an energy I'm audit in my home, and buy, I reduced my bills by I'm half. I'm not allowed Why to buy an energy audit. I am not allowed to buy incandescent light bulbs. When are you not allowed to buy them? What year are you not allowed to buy them? A couple years in the future. A couple years. What year in the future? What does it matter? The government's telling me I may not have incandescent it's lights. It's telling us we can't have smoggy vehicles, too. The air in L.A. is You've half the You've got to smog. come right into half my the house. Smog. Half the Ed Begley, I'm surprised at you. What kind of American believes that the government should come right into a private house? Nobody's going to come you into your house. Have, you can't have this houses. kind of light bulb. Or Why would you have? You ever you seen that have easy screen? What is an easy bake oven? The little kids' toy, an easy bake Why oven. Why do you want to push Why does me a light around? A light bulb is a little mini toaster. Why do you because want to push the best me technology? Because you are Nobody's convinced pushing you we're around. going to hell in a handbag. You're spewing your nonsense here yet again. Nonsense. So I, the air in L.A. is uh, twice as clean as it was in 1970. Why? Because of good technology. It's got nothing people, to do with global warming. It has warming. everything to do with good science. Nothing work. to do with global warming. It has everything to do with finance and cleaning up the air. You people said nothing it wouldn't work. Do we have cleaner air in L.A. Warming. because of the catalytic conversion. Nothing to do with global warming. I know warming. it doesn't, but you said Thank this you. before. You said it about seat belts and airbags. So you couldn't possibly afford why this. Why so you these lies. Not my argument. You spew these lies about how much lies? it's going to cost. Do you have an insurance policy in your house? Lies? Do you have an insurance, a fire policy? policy on your house. Do you have one? Yes. Why don't you have an insurance policy on global warming that does this, cleans up the air in Houston, Bakersfield, and L.A., I'd, lessens our dependence on I want to be left alone. It's money. I don't want to be pushed around by the government. You're not allowed to destroy else. the commons, sir. You can be it. left alone, but you don't cannot destroy it. the commons. And you haven't proved destroying the, the commons is, is the not air over. and the ocean. You can do whatever you want, but you cannot destroy the commons. It's very old law, sir. You know, I thought you were all low-key when you walked in the studio. But I thought you were, too. You're having your tea. You're proper Brit. I actually like you. Time's up. Ed Begley. Thank you, Stuart. Coming up.